challenge that I'm doing right now. I'm trying to read the dictionary in under a year, and even though I finished the A's uh, a while back, I thought I would do a little test to see how much I've learned. My friend Carrie Ann was so great as to design a little test for me and mail it to me. And uh, I'm gonna do it and, well, we're gonna see how smart she thinks that I am. So here we have got the A test. So the first one is a belonging, an appendage, or an accessory. And I have some great options to choose from. So we've got appurtenance, acrophobia, that is not what it is, I know that one, um, abrogate, and oh, nisi. So that is the first one. That was really a long time ago, and right now I'm not feeling confident on how much I have retained. And it's not D, and it's not C, so I'm gonna go with appurtenance, if that is even how you pronounce that. Uh, two, so since one of the word is increase the power, rank, or wealth of a person or nation, and since two is caused to appear greater or more important than is the case. We've got analect, anarchy, aggrandize, and alder. And the answer to that one is C, aggrandize. Number three, we got singing, typically among the Inuit. A mice, anglicize, anchor, and a yaya. Um, definitely not anglicize. Uh, anchor. I mean, the tough part about all of these words is that there's the definition of a lot of them that is the commonplace one. So, like anchor, everyone knows what an anchor is. But yet there's going to be a bunch of other senses and sometimes there's archaic ones and the meaning is completely different or even opposite to what it is now known as. So there's, some, there's some interesting things at play here. I really want to go with a yaya. Um, so I'm going to. Alright, number four, friendship. Friendly relations. Got agnostic, almanac, anastigmat, and amity, and we are going with amity. Now I have had two D's in a row, so that's not confidence inspiring either. Number five is cold, invigorating. We've got arcane, airsome, acre, and alcove. Well, it's not acre. I'm pretty sure it's not arcane and alcove. Sleeves, airsome. So I'm gonna go with that. Music in a moderately slow tempo. Dante. Allergy, anagram, and appendectomy. Uh, I'm gonna go with Dante. Wait, there's, these are double-sided pages. All right, seven, a large antelope of northern Africa with twisted horns. Aberol, Aglu, Anapest, and Adax. I probably said that one word wrong. Or all four of them, I don't know. Um, going with Aglu. <laughs> Number eight, wooded, we've got Artemisia, Artemisia, mm -hmm. LJ, Arborist, and Avant. Um, Arborist. That might be a trick, but 
because I do. I'm basing that off of the root word arbor, but Carrie Ann, I know she's shifty, so she's probably trying to trick me all over the place. Number nine, egg white in the first sense. And in the second sense, we've got the substance found between the skin and the germ of many seeds, usually the edible part. Antipope, a lot, albumin, amoroso. Ooh. Albumin. Ten, a breed of Japanese dog, similar to a spitz. Arnica, Absinthe, Abominable Snowman, and Akita. We're going with Akita. 11. Sideways or squinting. Allure, askance, amiss, or antiquary. That would be askance. 12. A, a hand lamp for signaling in Morse code. Adonis, Aldous Lamp, Accelerometer, and or Adam's Bridge. So, again, I already mentioned that she's sneaky. This is one that is very suspicious because the definition has the word lamp in it, and one of the options has the word lamp in it, which makes me not want to choose that. Um, but Adonis is like a beautiful boy, based off of... Greek mythology, accelerometer, I'm assuming is, tells you how fast you're going, <laughs> Adam's Bridge. I don't recall that. <laughs> mm. I feel like I have to go with the Aldous lamp, but I feel like... That is some shady business, and you're really messing with my head here, so I'll just go with it. 13. Since one, we have intransitive. <laughs> this is really painful that I'm not very good at saying the words. I like to read in my head, not out loud. Um, and that one, A, of an event, circumstance, etc., suggests a specified outcome. B, portend, bode. Second sense is transitive. A is for C, predict, and B is portend. So relatively similar definitions for both senses of the word. And my options are auger, aloha, apaloon, and ally. Ally. Um, predict. Ugh. Auger moves green. Oh, shoot. Uh, Aloha. Aloha. Whatever like, is the plant. Apollon. Apolloon. I'm gonna go with that one. Alright. 14. Draw. Um, Draw towards the middle line, especially draw a limb towards the middle line of the body. A duct, arbutus, anathema, or a, prior, a priori. Middle line. So that does suggest that it is a verb. Sadly, a priori is one. I remember I wrote it down in my notebook because I like that one. Fortunately, that did not help me full on remember what it is, which is too bad. That's unfortunate. And a thema. So yeah, I'm a little inclined to go with adduct, adduct because of your muscles and your stomach area. And this is drawing a limb towards the middle line of the body, which is kind of middle center adduct. Arbutus. That is not it. Ugh. These just don't seem quite right, but I'm gonna go with that one. 
one that I just talked about. All right, 15 cents one. Column in a newspaper or magazine offering personal advice to readers who write in. Sense to the part of the classified advertisements in a newspaper reserved for messages to lost relatives. We've got anal, agony column, allegory, and ailment. And I think everyone knows what this one is. The agony column. All right, so that's 15 multiple choice questions. Thank you very much, Carrie Ann, for doing this. I'm very suspicious of you and the things that you've done, but I'm gonna have to look these up now to make sure that I got it right, and I will see what kind of mark I got. Solid 87%. <laughs> um, so that's not too bad, you know, coming out of this with an 87%, um, which means maybe I did learn a little bit, right? And that's good, because that's what I wanted to have happen. Um, so thank you, Carrie Ann. I know it was probably painful to create this test. Um, so yeah, thanks for doing it. I hope you had some fun, maybe, with that. Um, and if anybody else wants to do a test for the remaining letters, go ahead and contact me and we could probably make that happen.